uh, just uh, slapping down a load of timber uh, down at uh, Sussex Ports which is uh, going to Exeter this is one of our regular spots is this where we come to pick a load of timber up not bad job really brought a load of uh, concrete beams down which went down to uh, Naval Base at Portsmouth that's a big job that's been going on for a while now not so bad today because it's uh, pretty dry sometimes when you come down here it's monkey pouring down I want to get cracked on with this because uh, I want to get through all traffic on road to uh, through uh, Sussex Port and onto A27, uh, M27 and then uh, get on then a bit I should be able to get down to uh, somewhere near Exeter tonight and deliver this in the morning good job I don't have to sheet it climbing up there and rolling it around trying to push sheet down on the floor and that Hey, yeah, that's a pretty good job, really. When, what, four or five of us have been coming down a week, doing the same sort of job. It takes quite a few straps to hold this lot on. You've got to do them alternatively, otherwise when you get round, round it about, you end up losing them all the way the road. And that's no joy, having all that lot picked up. Once lo lost the load uh, many moons ago. Why, we didn't have straps them days, we had old ropes. Not that ropes can uh, hold this sort of weight. I never have any problems with it really, as long as it's strapped down proper and done as it should be. Don't start flying round roundabouts. A great knot speeds. Usually get there and um, you know without any problems. It's quite a busy place, is this Sussex Port? Uh, that's where all the uh, most of the timber comes into uh, into here, apart from other stuff, of course. But a lot of this comes from Sweden, this uh, this timber, and some of it comes uh, from, uh, well, a lot of it comes from Scandinavia and Baltic ports and that. All that plastic that's on them at the minute won't be there by the time we get to Exeter, and they're all blown away somewhere. Some companies like you to sheet them, but... That's so you don't get no damn stones in pieces in wood and that. They reckon if you get wood and stone in it, you're going to get uh, problems with swords when they're cutting it all up. So literally, you've got to keep walking backwards and forwards. But sometimes when you pull the strap at one end, it suit comes off at the other end, you've got to go around and fasten it all up again. It's alright when there's two of you like, you know, because you can crack on with it then. Yeah, I won't say it's... Uh a good road going from here to uh, M27, it's a lot of roundabouts. Of course, if you get going through on a Friday night, well, you've got no chance really. You've got to, you know, you've got to get down here as quick as you can, get loaded and, and get going up road a bit, and then you can... Uh, you can ease off a bit once you get up motorway then, because uh, once you get up motorway, you go then uh, through Southampton, or Portsmouth, Southampton, and then, uh, well, you skirt it all, 
and then eventually uh, you come off for uh, 303 and then uh, you just keep going along then and have a bit of something to eat on the road usually down at uh, one of the truck stops at Cartgate which is uh, in, um, just top side of uh, Dorset good, good to get some good grub there cheap enough I've just got one more to go now and uh, Let's check it all out and listen it round to the to, to office and uh, pick my paperwork up then. And then off we jolly well go. Sometimes we have two uh, deliveries on here, like, you know, but. Uh, Normally it's just one drop for juicings. A lot of this timber's been going to uh, Newport in South Wales docks. Well, what idea of that is? As we've been coming down from uh, Birmingham side up that neck of the woods, they generally divert us down to Sussex Port, pick a load up, and either take it to Torquay or. Exeter, anywhere, uh, anywhere southwest really. <laughs> 